Michaela Renava, I'm joined now by Crockett Gilmore, Baltimore Ravens tight end. Thank you for being here on Radio Row with us today. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. I want to start out, might seem like kind of a random question, but you have a really cool name. What's the backstory? Uh, I was a young kid, um, and I asked the same question. My mom had to tell me the story of, she said your name was Cameron until about two minutes before you were born, and she said, I remembered a kid that was a dark-haired, brown-haired, brown-eyed boy that was a wrestler that was my oldest brother's age. She said, I was literally about ready to push you out, and she said, Crockett. So my dad was like, what? And he said, "That's." she said, that's the name, Crockett. And so my name got changed right before they were going to write it down, and it stuck, and I'm glad they chose Crockett. I don't <laughs> think I could be a Cameron. Is Ka What's your middle name? Alan. Is Cameron in there anywhere? Oh, oh no, so they just dropped it all they together. dropped it all together, and all I'm right. thankful for that. <laughs> well, I always like to ask about cool names. That is an interesting story. I like it. And now let's get a little more into the football stuff, and let's talk about quarterbacks because we have Matt Ryan and Tom Brady going head-to-head -head in this Super Bowl matchup. It's going to be great quarterback play. And Joe Flacco, the guy you catch passes from, is always in that conversation. Is he elite as a tight end what makes a quarterback elite uh i think the ability to win first of all uh, it's tough to do in this league it's tough to be consistent and he's done both those things uh, to win and win consistently as well as win a championship um, there's a lot of guys that are in the hall of fame that didn't win a championship so obviously he, he's put himself in that position to have that opportunity and i think as long as his career continues to grow and get better as he's doing uh, there's no reason that he, he won't be in, in the name of you know all the top guys. Do you think that that conversation is even something that should be being talked about? I mean, Flacco's a Super Bowl champion. Should it just be that, or is there an argument? This isn't the type of business that you're going to be given anything. You're going to work and work and work, and then all of a sudden it just flips one day, and they're talking about you as, as the Tom Brady's and the, and the Drew Brees and all those guys. So uh, he's got to go out and earn it every day. So, so do the rest of us. Um, and he doesn't, he doesn't mind doing that. And he continues to win and continues to get better. So I look forward to him, uh, you know, winning a few more Super Bowls. And by the end of his career, he'll be sitting back, um, you know, enjoying the game and doing whatever he wants to do. And I think they'll be talking about him as, as an elite guy. Well, I wouldn't want to make Joe mad at you, but I am <laughs> going to ask if you were playing on Sunday, who would you rather be catching passes from, Tom Brady or Matt Ryan? Obviously, I'm taking Tom. Uh, there's no no real argument. He, he likes the tight ends, and he's been feeding guys for his entire career. So he, he's found a way to get, get those guys the ball. So that consistency is what you would go with. He's Absolutely. proven himself. Can you describe Tom Brady in one word? Perfection. That's a good one. <laughs> he's, a he's done a great job of, of – Keeping it simple, but yet, you know, simplicity sometimes is the toughest thing to beat. And doing the simple things really, really well, you know, there's a lot of guys that can do everything, but if you can't do one thing really well, you usually get beat. All right, Crockett, before we let you go, I want to end with something fun. Lady Gaga is performing at halftime. Can you sing me a line from one of her songs? I have no idea. Come on, you don't know any of her songs? <laughs> Not one. What if I said some names? Would they ring a bell like Bad Romance, Poker Face? Poker Face would ring a bell but i'm not sure i know the words no i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i believe that i think you might just not want i'm to from west from texas right so like george Strait, those are my guys. i like george Strait. <laughs> i'm a big country fan Emerald by morning I, you have the accent too so i feel like you could sing that but we don't want to steal lady gaga's thunder Absolutely she not. is the star of the halftime show crockett thanks for joining us yes, today really appreciate you. it